Your party has defeated David, the halfling ogre. <laughs> As you explore the space, you'll find a hidden crack in a wall behind some boxes. You can fit through the opening and find yourself face to face with Urgoth, the world devourer, fast asleep on his hoard of gold. You have heard the tales of this most ancient evil wreaking havoc and destruction upon the kingdom of Dole. Entire armies have withered before it, and even the greatest heroes of the age were felled by a mere flick of his scythe-like claws. What do you do? Uh, are you sure? You ready your spells and weapons and charge at the sleeping dragon, throwing all your might against it. Your attacks have no visible effect beyond awakening Urgoth. Fools, I shall devour all of you. Beg for my mercy now, when I might spare your worthless lives. What do you do? Does this sound familiar? Have you ever tried to take on the ultimate evil far too early and simply could not defeat it? Has your game master ever been a big meanie by making such a hard encounter and not letting you play out your wildest fantasies? Welcome to Imp TV. I am your emperor and have the solution for you. I am here with a one-time only special offer introducing for the first time on Imp TV and indeed the world just retreat. Woo. Keep your party and campaign alive with only one simple application of Just Retreat. But Emperor, you might say, we are the heroes, we shouldn't retreat, that is not very heroic. Do you know which heroes you never hear about? Steven Brockba over there who did not use Just Retreat but kept fighting the ultimate evil at level 5. These guys used Just Retreat. They snuck away, became stronger, found the crystal lands of Hor, and freed the lands of the Ancient Menace. You may think that fighting and winning every fight is the only way to experience and move a story of heroic feats and incredible twists forward. While Retreat might feel like defeat, it will open unforeseeable opportunities. Embrace those bitter feelings, use them to water your characters and to grow them into unexpected directions. Your healer might struggle with letting the party down, becoming irritable and suddenly has outbursts of anger as a reflection of that sense of failure. Maybe your monk notices this and takes the party on a journey of self-discovery and facing their inner demons, allowing them all to grow and heal. The really great stories of our times have bad turns for the heroes to allow them these stark changes and opportunities for growth. Think of Frodo who was virtually helpless in any direct confrontation with the forces of Sauron. He never would have stood a chance against Sauron in a fight. Yet the downfall of Mordor is a cherished tale. The party overcame their enemies by outmaneuvering them and facing their fears rather than head on. So next time you come upon an enemy or situation that is beyond your current abilities, just retreat, regroup and rethink your approach. You might be surprised by the amazing stories that will unfold if you allow yourselves to be vulnerable and feel small for a while. Revenge and redemption are powerful story hooks and worthwhile pursuing. Let me know in the comments if you got any questions or stories of times where you narrowly escaped only for that to turn into a grand adventure. Subscribe. 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 But these guys used Just Retreat. They snuck away, became stronger, found the crystal lands of Hor, and freed the lands of the Ancient Menace.